Hello and welcome to the Friday, October 11th, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I am recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Today we got a neat new tool to talk about by one of our undergraduate intern students, uh, Christopher Schroeder. He uh, did develop a GPT honey, as he calls it, a honeypot that dynamically creates responses using chat GPT. So typically when we build honeypots, like for example, our HTTP honeypot, uh, we try to record some responses from vulnerable systems. Then we look at the request coming in from the attacker and try to send sort of the best response back for that particular request. However, this is a quite laborious effort. And of course, you, know, you always miss some possible requests and don't have the right answer for it. This is sort of where GPT honey comes in. Christopher developed it uh, for SSH and it essentially looks at the command that the attacker entered and then asks GPT, hey, what's a good response for that command that would match a real Linux system? This also creates somewhat different responses for different attackers, which is helpful because that way it is kind of a little bit more difficult to, for example, fingerprint the honeypot. The tool is not sort of available for download yet, uh, but I'm being told it should be for download shortly and probably will mention once it's all available for others to use. And then we have more details and working exploit code, if you even can call it that way, because the vulnerability is very uh, simple, from Horizon 3 AI for a Palo Alto Expedition vulnerability that was patched back in July. The problem here, as I said, is really, really simple. There is a restore admin.php script that basically will allow you to change your password back to the default without any additional authentication. So note, there is no password reset question. There is no email that you need to respond to. You just need to call the right URL and the password is immediately being set to Palo Alto. According to Horizon 3 AI, it took them longer to install the tool than actually to figuring out the exploit, which I guess was in part because the tool is not quite straightforward to install. And since they now had it installed, they went to town with it and found a number of other than follow-up exploits that you can perform after you reset the password. Uh, pretty enlightening blog about the software quality of this particular tool. We don't really talk too much about uh, Mozilla and Firefox vulnerabilities, but there's a critical vulnerability that was just patched uh, use after free in animation and timeline vulnerability that apparently is already being exploited. So if you're using Firefox, make sure you're using the latest and greatest version. And if you're using GitLab Enterprise, well, it's time to update yet again. In particular, one of the vulnerabilities being addressed here does come in with a CSS score of 9.6. This particular vulnerability allows an attacker, as it says, to impersonate arbitrary users under specific circumstances, potentially leading to unauthorized actions and data breaches. GitLab, of course, like many of these tools, has extensive uh, possibilities and features to execute codes as part of CI CD pipelines. In part, these kind of integrations such are then often being used in order to take advantage and execute code in the system. So keep it updated and stay safe by not exposing it more than you need to. I've also seen some headlines about uh, three more Ivanti cloud vulnerabilities uh, being exploited. No idea if they're new. I completely lost track of all the Ivanti vulnerabilities and which ones have been exploited and have not been exploited. At this point, probably just best to get rid of that piece of software. Well, that's it today. And just a quick note on the hurricane was really sort of a minor event, luckily for me, sadly, not for many people. 
all over Florida that got badly hit by this hurricane. So thanks to everybody who reached out and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.